Hi, really good to have you back on this channel, especially today, because I've just completed an extensive study on gold volatility. I have 17 years of data and about 12, I think over 13,000 observations. So we're going to have some good statistics on how gold moves and when. So if you want to capitalize on big moves in gold, you have to watch this video. So let's dive and see how gold moves and when. First of all, please do remember that we don't provide any investment advice and all the material is made available for educational and marketing purposes only. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. That would be a great help. Thank you. Let's cover some basics first. You can trade gold 24 hours every day from Sunday 11 p.m. to Friday 9 p.m. GMT and you can trade it in Asian, European and US sessions which all have different characteristics. We're going to cover those later in this presentation. And if you haven't memorized the session hours yet, here they are. Take a screenshot and then we can move forward. There are two special overlap periods every day. First of all, you have the European and Asian overlap from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. GMT and then the US European overlap from 1 p.m. to about 5 p.m. GMT. These are periods when the markets are very liquid. Lots of orders come into the market. Lots of business transactions take place. So there's more liquidity, more volatility, more price action than during the Asian session, for instance. During these session overlaps, you have multinational corporations transacting currencies to facilitate international business transactions and commerce. You also have the hedge funds and investment funds trading currencies, gold and other metals, oil and their derivatives for hedging, investment and speculative purposes. And then thirdly, you have the banks that trade a lot of money on behalf of their clients and also trade financial instruments such as currencies, gold, oil and derivatives for investment and speculative purposes. So there'll be a lot of movement, a lot of price action, a lot of trading opportunities during these overlap periods. Here I have highlighted some of the session overlaps. The shorter periods here are the Asian European overlap and the longer ones are the European US overlap. And we can immediately see that there is less volatility when the Asia transfers to Europe than when the Europe transfers to the US. So majority of the business in gold market is transacted during the European afternoon hours or the early market hours in the US. So just quickly, we can see that this monster move here was about it was over $40 in size. Then if we go to the next European US overlap session, the we this was about twenty dollars and then again the third one here this was also roughly twenty dollars so based on this it's pretty evident that if we have to choose between these two overlaps i would rather be trading the european session at least with my momentum style of trading it's it's a better overlap session for me to to trade in so if you are a range trader then obviously you might want to choose differently but bearing in mind that the most traders trade momentum strategies it seems evident that you should choose the european us overlap I made an extensive study of gold prices. I used data from March 2006 to April 2023. So number of observations is as big as 13,247. I was studying the eight hour uh, price candle ranges in gold and I wanted to find out how different are the eight hour periods that start 3 a.m. GMT to those that start 11 a.m. GMT. So as you can quickly see that these periods cover the Asian Europe uh, overlap period and then the latter one that starts at 11 a.m. GMT covers the Europe America overlap period. Here I have descriptive statistics for the ranges for the eight hour ranges in gold and as we can see, the average was about $11. At the same time, the maximum move was $108. So there's lots of movement in this market. And it's interesting to know that 62.5% of the time, 
gold moved $11 or less. So almost a, almost 40% of the time, gold moved more than $11. And now it's your job as a trader and my job as a trader to go and find those periods when there's a lot of movement. And this helps us with our risk to reward ratios and with, with the bottom line at the end of the day. Then I made comparison between the eight hour periods that started at 3 a.m. GMT and those that started at 11 a.m. GMT. My question was, how often over these time periods, the price moved more than the average of $11? And the difference is very, very clear. During the Asian session, only 11 times out of 13,247, there was movement bigger than $11 during that eight hour period. But if we look at the period starting at 11 a.m. GMT, we had almost 2,900 times when the market moved more than the average. So clearly we need to be trading gold in the European afternoon hours and the US market early hours going into the, to the European evening. I want to conclude with this. The characteristics of the US and Europe sessions are, first of all, they are the two most volatile trading sessions. Most of the total daily financial transactions turnover takes place during these sessions. US and European economic news drive the markets during these sessions. And you have fast moving gold prices during these sessions as has been proven by the data study that I made. So clearly the best time to trade gold is when you have the European U and US sessions, even though you can trade it in the Asian, but the best times are the European and US sessions. Remember, there's lots of variation in volatility and volatility for us as traders is highly important because more volatility means more trading opportunities and that's what we want. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful and informational. Knowing when to trade gold can make all the difference in your trading success. So make sure to implement this knowledge in your trading strategy and stay tuned for more valuable insights from us. Until the next video, take care and trade safe.